So audio was shit last time. I, I think I fixed it. I, I set it all up to where it was on my old computer. Like I literally just like copied the settings. I was like, okay, this this goes here, this goes here. So the audio, my like my microphone, the, the balance should be, it should be at the very least what it was before. So, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's probably still shit regardless but it's like a bet you know a better shit right like a like a like a less shit shit <laughs> anyways speaking of things that are not shit stein's gay baby yeah. i look over my shoulder with a frown Oh, it's it's so good to be back. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mayuri and Daru were following me, even though I didn't ask them to come. Karisu stayed back at the lab. Oh my god, I forgot the thing. Oh, I don't have that. I don't have my screen set up. Shit. I, uh... Oh... Hold on, I'm just gonna do this. We'll just do it like this. Uh, I'm immediately failing, by the way. I had an idea. I was gonna do something. I'm failing immediately. Oh, that's not the right setting. That's not the right setting. There it is. Put that there. Put that there. Alright, I'm just gonna throw this up. And then I'm gonna go grab something. I'll be right- I'll be right back. It's not gonna say be right back. But that's what it means. I have returned it. I have prepared a celebratory Dr. Pepper for when I could return. And I've just, I forgot to get it. So here we are. Not sponsored. It's just good. Kreisu stayed back at the lab. <laughs> All right, back to video games. <laughs> You know the feeling when you set up a bit and you just forget? It hurts, man. And yet, nothing can hurt when Mayuri speaks. It might be a bad idea to take the Ferris Stalker along. A really bad idea. Well, whatever. If Ferris has a problem with it, then we can send him away when we get there. Nothing else matters as long as I get Ferris to search for an IBM 5100. Of course, if the IBM 5100's at Yanabayashi Shrine, then that won't even be necessary. I stopped by the shrine, but Lukako's not there. I guess he was out when he answered the phone earlier. I've got no other choice, so I go to the humble shrine office and press the intercom button. Luca's dad comes out. 
When I try asking him if the IBN 5100 was donated to the shrine, he answers, it certainly was. But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere, and he has no idea where it went. I ask if he lent me- I ask if he lent me the IBN 5100 before, but that event is gone from his memory. What's going on here? While heading toward Ferris's place, I analyze the situation. The IBN 5100 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was just there a few days ago. It has also disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like some god is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The D-mails definitely have something to do with this. I can only begin to imagine how the past has changed. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Ferris. The usual weekend crowd packs the front of Akiba Station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms diligently distribute flyers to the passersby. I appreciate their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? Dude, the, the like, diligence and, and resolve of cosplayers is nothing to be sneezed at. After a few melanin-boosting moments walking in the sun, I come, I come to a sudden stop. I've caught sight of a woman squatting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on a phone. That's got to be Lab Mem 5 Kiryu Moika. Wait, is she still a Lab Mem? Mayuri and Daru don't remember her. Well, whatever. Uh, Mogis Love Key, how's it going? I, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I tried. There's something I need to ask her. Doo -doo -doo. I run up to Moika. Oi, Siotsi! I tried getting her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. I mean... Oh my god. IBN. One moment. IBN. Someone knocked on my door. It's fine. <laughs> the <door is> <laughs> well, thank you! <laughs> Thanks for popping in! <laughs> I... <laughs> I sure do love Steins Gate, so. Shining <laughs> Finger! No reaction. This is not my first playthrough. I, I played through it a uh, while ago. Uh, this is, I think this would be my second playthrough of the game. Uh, and then I watched the anime like a million times. <laughs> it's so good. Moika stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, she just looks at my feet. Mayuri and Daru look look at uh, uh, excuse me? Look askance? Is that how you spell that word? There's no alright, Google. There's no way. That is a, that is a word. My God, my vocabulary has increased tenfold as a result of these games. Mayuri and Daru look askance at me, but I ignore them. これは、お前の仕業とは思いたくない。仲間だからな。しかし、お前はあのPCに異常な注釈を見せていた。どうだ。やったのかやってないのか。IBN 5100 
Normally expressionless Moika frowns in bewilderment. Moika shakes her head faintly. Then she looks down and begins operating her phone at high speed. Is she capable of operating her phone at anything less than? She really doesn't know? Uh, you're not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find an IBM 5100? Where, Moika? If the IBM 5100 had been stolen from the lab, then Moika would be my first suspect. But the IBM 5100 disappeared from Yanabayashi's shrine, not the lab. It can't have been Moika's doing. So it was a, it was the D-mail? Or perhaps it was the work of CERN? I squat in front of Moika and bow my head. ラボメンであるお前を仲間を疑ってしまった。最低な男だな。殴ってくれても構わない。だが、これだけは分かってくれ。俺は機関から命を狙われ続けた結果、誰も信じることができなくなってしまったんだ。why? Why did I have to be born with these gifts that others so covet? <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> Alright, already. <laughs> Just tell me about the IBM 5100, Moika. Alright, already. <laughs> So Moika doesn't know I had an IBM 5100. And judging by her responses, she hasn't found one either. I feel like I'm getting farther and farther away from my goal. My Yuri's cosplay sense is tingling. Oh, my Yuri. You're the best. No. For a second, I doubt my ears. I approach Mayuri. I grab Mayuri by the shoulders and shake her. She, her head bounces back and forth. <laughs> this this bit is so funny. <laughs> After Moika sent her D-mail, Mayuri, Daru, and Kurisu behaved as if they had never met her before. But now both Mayuri and Daru know her? Does that mean Moika's past has been reconstructed again? Given the timing, it has to be Lukako's D-mail that did it. But all he did was tell his mother to eat a lot of vegetables. How can that be related to the lab mem's knowledge of Moika? Is this another example of the butterfly effect? The cause doesn't match the effect at all. That's true. Let's think about the Moika issue later. Right now, we should look for the address written on the memo pad.
ちょバッカオカリ何言ってんだフェイリスタンの本名はフェイリスニャンニャンショウそれ以上でも以下でもないじゃん現実逃避はよせダリュフェイリスニャンニャンは所詮現実のだうわ最悪っすよなんで純真な男たちの夢を壊そうとするかなペログメイズ also the type of person to tell kids Santa isn't real Quit grumbling We just can't handle the truth でもユリどうなんだ知らないのかえっとねマユシーが教えちゃってもいいのかな特に口止めされているわけでもないんだろうそれにこれから自宅に行けばすぐにわかることだぞ I mean knowing Ferris oh, oh she almost certainly did <laughs> I can definitely see Ferris holding her to a vow of secrecy ああそっかそうだよねその代わりね他の人には内緒だよ例えばメイクインに来るご主人様たちとかあのねフェリスちゃんの本名は秋葉ルミホちゃんって言うんだああ聞こえないダルカバーズイーズンドラウンズサウンドアウトあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ Have any effect? It, I don't see anything. I think we're good. The same characters as in Akihabara. Appropriate. Our destination turns out to be the high rise apartment building next to UPX. Whoa. That was, that was kind of trippy. <laughs> oh my god, one of these days. I know, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying that because it's never gonna happen. I'm never gonna. Majde? There will never be, come a time where I do not. Absolutely melt. We stand there for a while, staring wide eyed at the towering building before us. According to the address Ferris gave me, she lives on the top floor. All the way up there. No, I wouldn't make such a stupid mistake. I quickly scan the area. The, the, the perspective of like panning down and these, it, it, it's all kinds of trippy. No suspicious figures in sight. I ask you, Nakuro Fukurenchu, you may be right at a俺を組織の網の中へと呼び寄せ一網打尽にするつもりだな妄想オツ事実は小説よりきなりそれにあのフェイリスタンの素顔が実は金持ちのお嬢様だったとかうはあ超燃える展開じゃねああびっくりおま
そのお友達の皆様がお越しです The butler leads us into a room. Ferris is standing before a large window with a panoramic view of Akiba. Kuroki, arigato nya. I've never seen her wearing anything other than the usual maid out form. Out form? Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Usual maid uniform. I je- legitimately just combined outfit and uniform. Uh, so it's refreshing to see her in her plain clothes. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> but why does she still have cat, her cat ears on? I want to ask, but I, I, I can't help but wonder. But I restrain myself. Even if I did ask, Ferris would just say something like, I was born with these, nya. But, yeah. Nya, nya. Mayushi to Dara nya mo kita no ka nya? Ferris's eyes twinkle when she sees Mayuri and Daru behind me. Ferris-chan, konnichiwa, nya. I'm okay. Muho, Ferris-chan no shifuku sugata to ka. Kawaii suguru. I silence. <laughs> I silenced the mouth breathing Daru by introducing his ribs to my elbow. My little Daru are cut in its seat. Tikta. May work on a yon on a kaira sit. Come on, I knew. Mina, Yoko, so you're the same as in ya? To you, Ka. Jitaka de Mosono Gobi or Kawara no Ka. Nano Kotokanya. Akuma de Toboker Kika. Aki Harumiho. Fadis. Not even a flinch. Whatever. I look around the room again. The interior design and furnishings give a very refined impression. It's elegant without being ostentatious. Actually, it's kind of like a model home. There's nothing to suggest that this room is lived in. No dirty clothes, no used dishware, not even a speck of dust. That butler, or maybe even some real maids. If, they're, if there's a butler, there have to be maids, right? Must be constantly cleaning up. Speaking of the butler, he's disappeared. I didn't even notice him leave. He's clearly a master butler if he can move so quietly. Fadis. What are you doing? That's Ferris says it no sh- so nonchalantly. Tobokeruna! Chanta says me shinaina raba. Kaira se te morau. Na, nanto you era so na taido. Bokta chite, Ferris tan yo onegai shini kita tachiba ja nakata. I mean, he's not wrong. Ja. Excuse me. Uh, while you're out, can you buy me a fork? Because I want my own fork and some cup noodles for dinner. I, I think there's a brand called Genre- Genshan Ramen. Get those. <laughs> wow. Demanding. You already have your own spoon. Why don't you have why don't you have a fork even though you have a spoon? Are you stupid? Alright. I'm not, I'm not going the、uh, r slash Arkham route with that. My assistant really cu- loves cut her cup noodles. I'm gonna start calling you Koike san. I don't know what that is a reference to, but I like it. Start calling you Koike san. Why? But why though? I'm, I'm avoiding the other way. Huh? What did she just say? This land originally belonged to her family? So, that's why I'm here. exclamation connects the dots in my head. Akiha, do you say? Masaka. Akiha, but I'm not going to die. 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 Ferris nods with a proud expression. 
So she really is a rich girl character. Ferris wriggles her slender wrist and makes a gesture like a cat washing its face. Oh my lord. <laughs> so basically, the chaotic changes in Akiba are all a result of this cat girl's whims? What a monster! Ferris' expression suddenly darkens. Ferris approaches me with a bewitching expression. Ferris gently strokes my cheek with her cool, slender fingers. I feel myself falling under her spell. And then she grins. Oh my god. Ferris <laughs> Damn you, cat girl! How dare you make a fool of me! To you like a day. Mean any wakorema de dori. Ferris never no die fan to the sister Hosinia. Daru starts fist pumping when he sees Ferris's cutesy act. Sashimos! Zenduk the Sashimos! Mayoshi Mune! Ferris chan no panda yo! Ferris chan no maido san damasiva! Tot demo se voy tamo! Ako gare chan ya! Mayuri and Daru might have fallen for her charms, but not I. Ore wa Ferris love nado de wanai! I thrust my finger at Ferris. あまり調子に乗らないでもらおうか。フェイリスにゃんにゃん。出なければ。この高級マンション全体が血に染まることになるぞ。家にわざわざ呼びつけて、自らのセレブっぷりを見せつけ。この俺との交渉において、精神的優
Well, she she's probably admiring my incredible magnum, magnanimity. <laughs> now then, let's finish this idle gossip and get down to business. それでフェイリスよ。IBN 五千百を探す代わりに、お前が要求する交換条件とは一体何だ。よく吟味して条件を出すことだな。俺の右手は。一度解き放たれるとあらゆるものを破壊し後には何も残らないとだけ言っておく大丈夫にゃエリスポイントで、カディアを捨てきながらこの猫耳にはあらゆる能力を完全無効化するニャンニャンクリアという力が備わっているのにゃ<笑> It is genuinely like watching two five-year-olds play pretend <笑> No, but if I use my, my cannon eyes, I could destroy anything. Well, my, my arm shield prevents any sort of laser attacks. Oh, my <laughs> no, uh. I shouldn't have mentioned my hand to Ferris. Ferris's most terrifying power is one known as Dubbing Ten. It allows her to steal other, person, other people's stories and add them to her own. I'm the one who named it, of course. The number 10 doesn't really mean anything. Let's, uh, that's pretty standard for his naming scheme. <laughs> I Ferris chuckles. But I noticed something. Her eyes aren't smiling. Yes, I had a feeling that was it. Kino May Queen de Kyoma Tachika Hanastetania Time Machine of Kai Hatsitate Econimo Oretachua Jin Lui Shijo Hatsuno Time Machine Jikini Seiko Zumido Dakara Jin Lui Shijo Hatsua Serun Datsuno. He needs to put like an asterisk on that. <laughs> You've developed the first no, successful no, time machine. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> That's crazy. Literally, just a single drop of liquid <clears throat> can ruin my life. That's crazy. タイムマシンとは言っても机の引き出しを登場口にしている青い猫専用の4畳半タイムマシンほど万能ではない俺たちが成功したのは過去の誰かの携帯に18文字までのメールを送れるというレベルだただしこれだけでもノーベル物理学賞ものであり人類の歴史を塗り替える超絶スーパーな発明だがなタイムマシンは我がラボにおける最重要機密事項だ。どうしても使いたいというならば、ラボ面になってもらう必要があるが。ラボ面何かにゃんあのねマユシーたちのサークルの仲間になるっていうことだよマユシー的にはねフェリスちゃんがラボメンになってくれるのはとっても嬉しいな右に同じく<笑>というか大歓迎ぜひ入ってくださいお願いしますどうすればラボメンになれるんや契約書などは存在しない必要なのはそう契約者同士による血の名約のみ
私の名役。The window is closed, but a gust of wind blows through the room. It's coming from the air conditioner. <clears throat> but outside the window, I see rain clouds cover the sky. I hear the rumbling of thunder inside my brain. Nanji. Fairis nyan nyan yo. Initiate yori. High ancient word on it, the Katarit's garret of Hoten Nishtagai. Labomen et o Kuavarkoto nozamu no naraba. その肉、その骨、その血を天の杯へと捧げることを誓い、名役という名の洗礼を受けよ。さすれば、古代の神はそれに応え、何時にラボメンナンバーを授けるだろう。Man is out of control. 何を言ってるのか、さっぱりわかんねえ。私の名役も良役も飲んでないよ。ということは、マヨシーはラボメンじゃないのかな、oh、<笑>マヨシー、しょんぼりしなくてもオッケー。これはオカリンのいつもの癖なのだぜ。そっか。いつもの癖なら仕方ないね。でもよかった。わかったにゃ。血の名役を受けるにゃ。The grim expression, Ferris grabs the small knife on top of her desk and suddenly slashes it against her wrist. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Ferris, no! Yeah! Yeah, paper knife, s h o Nya ha ha! Daru nya no yu t o r i nya! Oh my lord. Ugh, she surprised me. I clear my throat and pull myself together. I'm trying to clear my throat. <clears throat> It's not <clears throat> succeeding. Dewa, Felis. Omae wo Raboman number 007 ni nintei suru. Hai nya! Kore de time machine tsukaeru no nya! Oh, so you koto ni naru. ただし、タゴン無用だ。裏切り者にはしよう。それが、我がラボの起きてだと覚えておけ。そうだったんだ。だから、オカリンのこの場だけの思いつきだって。A very sweet aroma tickles my nose. And something very soft tickles my. Jo! Ocarin, ten me! Bokomo denwa lenji tskutta no ni! So na no nya? Ja, daru nya mo! Harris flies over to Daru. Ocarin, Ocarin! Felis chan ga yarokon de krete! よかったね。And then, and then Daru exploded. <laughs> まあより、お前は実に無邪気だな。I take out my phone and put it to my ear. 俺だ。ああ、フェイリスはまんまと俺の思惑にハマったよ。所詮。<laughs> 17歳の小娘ということだあの猫娘は俺との交換条件によって人類の夢禁断の果実であるタイムマシンを使うという欲望を満たしたつもりでいるがこの俺法院教魔の手のひらの上で踊らされていることに気づいていない<笑>俺が猫娘との条件を受けた理由だとそんなもの決まっているだろう<笑>すなわち And I twist my lips into a grin My razor sharp shark teeth are probably glistening right now Fucking what? Damn, I wish I had shark teeth <laughs> 
Our D-mail experiments have reached a standstill. Kurisu refuses to become a subject, and Mayuri and Daru are too dumb to be useful. <laughs> How dare you! <sighs> we managed to experiment on Moeka and Lukako, but we still need more data. <clears throat> Along comes Ferris. She's going to provide me with both an IBM 5100 and new data. Two birds with one stone. Oh. <laughs>俺たちを利用したつもりでいて実は逆に飛んで火にいる夏の虫状態だったというわけだ。では、予定通りに次の実験に移行する。全てはシュタインズゲートの選択だ。One taps me on the shoulder after I put away my phone. Right after that, they blow into my ear. Maris <laughs> 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 is behind me. She must have finished servicing Daru while I was still on the phone. Can you not phrase it like that, please? No doubt she heard everything. <laughs> すでに血の迷惑はなされた。契約を破れば、お前という人間には破滅が訪れるだろう。もう逃げることは叶わんぞ。オッケーにゃ。で、タイムマシーンはどこにあるのにゃ。She's This time, we'll make use of the phone wave named subject to change his original function and send the D-mail by remote control. Kurisu should still be in the lab. I'll leave the setup to her. I ask Ferris where she wants the D-mail to go. She says she's sending it to her father ten years ago. I take down her email address. His email address. The destination is April 3rd, 2000. It has to be at 8 p.m. that day. 8 a.m. that day. God damn, I'm good at reading. <clears throat> it has to be at 8 a.m. that day, so we use an online calculator to factor in leap years, resulting in 86,168 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, be I'm being too loud. I can't. <laughs> Wait, I can't do that. Wait, what? 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 Wait, Let's indeed call Kurizu. Assistant. Oh, never mind. I was gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Fine. I was I was being all clever. I was like, I get to use oh. Yeah. Hello. Yes! This is this this right here. This is why I I use hello as my like go to greeting, and this is exactly why because it's 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 it sounds so funny coming from her. 
そちらの状況を伝えろハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロハロ She's, I also just love. <laughs> she gets more and more just done. <laughs> Hello. Oh, in Kyoma. Mugon de Kiruna. Nanda Okabeka. The Kiri Tazra de Mada to Motta. Cotino Bango, a Hyoji Sarate Rudaro. Ikinari Imi Humena Koto Yareta, Koakona, the Kiriwayo. Sorewa Tsumari. Konore. ほうイン今日はの狂気ぶりにイフを覚えたというわけだなそれなら仕方なあいつまた切ったまた切ったぞ<笑> Oh my god Incredible だからオカリンの電話に対応するスキルは<笑>僕とマユシしか持ってないと何度言えば Quickly redial ハロー<笑>あの岡部凛太郎ですけど電話レンジ過去からの設定を少しいじってほしいんです初めからそう言えばいいのよ<笑> She's so petty. I love it. <笑>でも電話レンジ使うのブラウン管工房の店長さんに怒られるのは嫌なんだけどこれは貴重な実験のためなのだわかるかジョシュヨお前がミスターブラウンに怒られるただそれだけの犠牲によりタイムマシンという人類の夢は完成を見るのだ本当あんたって適当よねでどう設定すればいいんだ I tell her Ferris's dad's email address and I have her set the timer はい入力したわよ<笑>よしご苦労少し待て。I turn to Ferris. 送る文章は書き終わったか ?I already told her the phone wave name subject to change the email address.Ferris nods. どんな内容だ過去を変えるものなのだろうそ、それはその。ん ?What happened to her usual confidence? は恥ずかしいにゃ企業秘密だにゃ秘密だとふざけるなこれは実験だ内容を公開してもらわねばデータを検証できないではないか何言ってるにゃこれは実験じゃなくて交換条件だにゃフェイリスは実験のためじゃなくて自分のためにタイムマシンを使うのにゃ卑怯だぞオカリンも人のこと言えないけん。Daru, you horny fool! Are you siding with Ferris? You horny fool. And you call yourself a super hacker. He, he doesn't, though. Ferris covers her phone with her body. Looks like she plans on hiding it to the bitter end. Should we halt the experiment? An impatient Kurisu nags me through the phone. Don't rush me, damn it! You know, I, I did disagree, but then my Yuri said it, so you know what? I can't get over how much. Hold on. I cannot get over how much Ferris's pigtails look like. I just, like, I just, I, I, I picture like a tiny, tiny person just wee. Just like sliding down, like the like the most fun carnival slide. Anyways, what? Even my Yuri is on Ferris's side. Duh. She was like this with Moika too. Mm -hmm. 
This is bad. I thought I had Ferris in the palm of my hand. Was I dancing to her tune all along? Damn it. I submitted to the cat girl. I nod to Ferris after getting Kurisu's report. Ferris puts her finger on the send button and. God, that's so cool. That never stops being cool. As the dizziness fades, I exhale slowly and open my eyes. All right, world, show me your new form. Show me your true form. Sorry, too much Persona 5. Man, I wish I knew what kind of mail Ferris sent. First things first, I'm still in her room. When I look out the window, uh, the Akiba sprawl greets me. I scan the room. So ya, kado, open. There まだまだ爪が甘いにゃ。はあ。ピンクカードは3枚取られたでしょ。ウィルスカードは3枚取っちゃったでしょ。眉心はね、絶対絶命なのです。What are they doing? The three of them are sitting around a table playing some kind of game. まだターミナルカードがあるじゃん。次のターンで一発逆転狙えるってマジで。にゃふふ。今さら逆転は無理無理にゃ。ここでフェイリスはターミナルカードのウィルスチェッカーを使っちゃうのにゃ。さあ、
Mayuri's not wearing her hat. That's the difference. She, I don't know if she was wearing it earlier. She might have been. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. It doesn't look like the microphone is picking it up, but I gotta remember to turn that off when I stream. <laughs> I got a clock. I got a I got a a clock for my birthday uh last year and it just arrived because it was like a pre-order thing. But it <laughs> it plays Persona 3 music and it just it goes off every hour, which is awesome. But also <laughs> I was not expecting it to do that. I'm gonna have to uh turn that off next for I gotta remember to I don't know, mute it when I'm streaming, uh, that's, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Forgot about that. All right. Anyways, uh, I don't think it didn't look like it was getting picked up on the microphone. So that's, so I probably just look insane if I'm being honest. Uh, but what else is new? I'm, I passed sanity long ago. Paris nods happily. If Felix wins, Dad will be able to give you time to work while you're at work. He said he'll be able to give you time to work while you're at work. I'm also able to give you time to work while you're at work, but that day is the night of the night. At night, we're going to eat with you two. Yes, yes. That's right. 決勝戦はラボのみんなで応援に行くねありがとにゃ決勝の相手ってバイラルアタッカーズとかいうコンビだったっけ下馬評じゃノーマークだったのにまさかフェイリスタンのライバルであるイディオナを任しちゃうとはなフェイリスタンとイディオナのデュエルは毎回神がかってるから今回も楽しみにしてたのに他のライネッターの試合は全然見てないんやけどバイラルアタッカーズってそんなに強いのかにゃまフェイリスタンの敵じゃないよフェイリスタンは最強フェイリスタンは神にゃーんそこまで持ち上げられると照れるにゃ。<laughs> they listen to their conversation. I feel a strange churning in my gut. Something's not right here. A voice whispers from deep within, deeper than reason. I play the conversation back in my head and soon realize the source of my discomfort. The Ferris I knew had never been to an official Rhinet tournament. And yet now she's about to compete in the tournament finals. Which means she's been going to tournaments for a while. Is this the change that Ferris wanted to make? Considering the recipient was her father, maybe he was strict and wouldn't let her go to tournaments. But is that a reason to change the past? Ferris is only 17 years old. It's not too late for her to start participating in tournaments. If there were an age limit to Rhinet tournaments, that would be one thing. I guess it was just that important to her? At that moment, someone knocks on the door, and also phone. Uh, I never said anything about Genshan Ramen. Is it good? I don't know, you tell me. Christina? The door opens halfway and a middle-aged man appears. It's not the butler. Ferris quickly gets up and leaves the room. Also, don't think I didn't see that. Gha! Ferris san no oto sama ka! Aisatsu shite o kanai to mazuku ne? I saw that cat earless. Ferris. Ferris san no papa san te. Shachou san nan da yo ne? Sugoi na. Hmm. 
Vera soon returns. She, then she turns to us and puts her hands together in a gesture of apology. Bye-bye. Good response. Eh, so this tomo. It demita da geta karana. Daruku, Feris chan, Komara setara da menanda yo. Hora, Okari mo kaero. Oh. So yeba, Kyoma wa yaki ni shizuka da tanya. Doka stano ni ha? いや、秋葉を高みから見下ろし、エツに入っていただけだ。さすがオカリ。意味不明なり。チェックレイズ。Ferris, her dad and their butler see us off. Her dad tells us to come visit again. Ferris's dad seems like a cool guy. He's not pompous like you expect rich people to be. The sun is setting, but there's still a crowd in front of Akiba Station. More foreigners than usual. People come from all over the world to buy electronics and otaku goods in Akiba, but it looks like the satellite is attracting some as well. Man, it's hot. Less than a minute outside and I'm already drenched in sweat. Ferris's air-conditioned apartment was a little slice of heaven. I'd love air conditioning in the lab, but we don't have that kind of money. Anyhow, anyhow, how about some food? I turn around to ask Daru and Mayushi what they think. That's, that's weird. Uh, Okabe calling her Mayushi is weird. I'm gonna be honest. It's, it feels just, mm -mm. ain't right. Shit ain't right. Mayuri's not there. Mayuri wa doko itta? Hmm? Are? So yeba kieteru. Did Stardust Handshake activate again? I scan the area. There she is, walking casually towards the station. She's already about 50 meters away. I chase after her. Mayuri, where are you going? Ah, Okari! That's right. Mayushi is going to go to the house, but I think I'm going to go to the house. Why are you going to go to the house? ね、中野に行かなきゃって考えてたらね、そのことで頭がいっぱいになっちゃったのです。マユシの気配を消していなくなる能力は異常。マユリ <笑> does this a lot. She just wanders off without saying anything. And just like Daru said, you never notice she's gone. So when you turn around to look for her, it's like she vanished into thin air. Stardust handshake and sneaking fade. When? Why did her powers have to be so annoying? So Like a comprehensive list of all these fucking powers. They got fucking dubbing ten, Cheshire break, Stardust handshake, fading ten, shining finger. Reading Steiner, it's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, that game was fun. That pager number guessing game was fun. I'd love to do it again sometime. Afterwards, I asked my mom about what it was like when she was young, and she looked so nostalgic. I don't know why she sighed so deeply, though. P.S. I did ten swings, ten practice swings with Samidare. Hello. God damn it, Dario, shut the fuck up! No! Go away! Uh Demone, 
I just, I, I love how it's just so nonchalant. Like, she's just she's like, no, but it, <laughs> to be fair, that's eh, probably the best way to describe it. God damn it, I keep doing that. Uh, 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 that's right. I'll take my part of the part. I understand. Hey, hey, what are you saying? If you are a person, you don't have to be in front of the door. Haruin Mayuri stare at me blankly. <laughs> oh, I follow my pointing finger. Tora no no Tora no Anna isn't there. I... How did he say it? Hold on. Oh, 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 I rub my eyes and blink several times. It doesn't help. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Check up and down the street, but no, it's nowhere to be found. And what's more, I can't find Animate either. It's supposed to be right next to Tora Noana. Instead, I see electronic stores. Daichi Kaden and T21 Minami. Oh, Jesus Christ. T21 Minami. Never seen them before in my life. Wait, I remember Mr. Braun saying that Akiba used to have a lot more electronics shops. Many of them closed. I think Daichi K Kaden and T21 N Minami were among them. は、トラノアナもアニメイトもないよ。だからマユシーは中野まで同時一周を買いに行くのです。ないって。どういうことだ。昨日まで普通にあったよな。But earlier today, I wasn't really paying attention on the way to Ferris's apartment, but I'm pretty sure they were still there. だからないって。そもそもそういう萌えショップが秋葉にあるわけないじゃん。萌えの聖地といえば中野だろ、ジョーコ。秋葉の方が萌えの聖地としては世界規模で有名ではないか。ついに暑さでおかしくなったか、オ
Even the ma maid cafes have disappeared. Mayuri. I mean, technically? I think, right? I asked Daru too, but no reaction. ルモアンヌ。<笑> Clear now. This has to be the result of Ferris's D-mail. The butterfly effect is added again. Ferris said she had influence over Akiba's development board. They adopted her plan and embraced the Moe industry. But by sending a D-mail to 2000, the world line has shifted to one where that never happened. Akiba is still electronics all the way. To think that a single mail could rewrite 10 years of a town's history. Is it okay to change history on a whim like this? I almost feel guilty about it, but since I'm the only one who remembers the original Akiba, nobody can blame me. And it's not like I can change it back. But still, what in the world did Ferris's D-mail say? Quite the fucking trip. The next morning, I go for a stroll through the streets of Akiba. What I discover is that, although the chaotic energy familiar to me has receded, Akiba is still Akiba at its core. The few electronic stores that I used to frequent are still here. In fact, they've multiplied. You can still hear the, their loud theme songs and the cries of salesmen all the way from the sidewalk. Electronics otaku and PC maniacs walk the streets with unkempt hair, wrinkled clothes, and eyes burning with intense purpose. There are even cheerful foreigners talking, taking in the sights. Maids and young female otaku have disappeared, but the hobbyist essence of the ch of the town is unchanged. I admit it's a relief. Yesterday, I heard from Mayuri how we met Ferris on this world line. I was wondering, since May Queen no longer exists. It was a, at a small Rainet tournament at a toy store in Ikebukuro. We went, to, uh, went we went to cheer on Daru, but he dropped out because of a stomach ache. So Mayuri and I ended up taking his place. Our opponent was Ferris. We got crushed, needless to say, but Mayuri says that Ferris was very gracious and gave us advice on how to play. That was the beginning of their beautiful friendship. Our past has changed considerably, yet we still ended up with the same close relationship we had on the last world line. Fascinating. Maybe Lady Luck is looking out for us. I've got mail. Uh... Luck. We are watching you. Nanda? <laughs> Fuck! Dude, that's so fucking chills, dude. It's. I feel like this, this, this image is like the trigger for. I. Oh my god. Okay. It's Jello. It's just Jello, and yet it carries. Such a such a horrifying implication. Is this a prank? Spam? Why red gelatin? Who's watching me? What's going on here? I spin around, searching the crowd. A few passers-by look at me strangely. I don't care. Something is wrong. Goosebumps break out over my body. <laughs> If so, then this mail is a threat. My pulse skyrockets. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What do I do? Do I tell someone? Who? I can't involve anyone. It's a prank. It has to be. Ignore it. But what if it's serious? Are the men in black coming? I'm dead. They'll erase me. Erase us. Should I call the police? No, not enough evidence. What do I do? What do I do? 
the hell do I... Thoughts spin inside my head. Every pedestrian looks like an enemy. I flee from the crowd. I will say that, like, having the, the words show up all, over, all across the screen is, like, it's really, it's really well done. Well played, game. I spilled soda on me. I'm mad about it. After I managed to calm myself down, I head back to the lab. For now, I'll write that mail off as a prank. It's still early. Well, I guess it's actually noon, but Mayuri, Kurisu, and Lukako are already at the lab when I return. I greet them, trying to keep the anxiety out of my voice. The two cute high school girls waved me in greeting. By the way, one of these girls is actually a boy. In any case, the sight warms my heart. Or would, if not for a certain assistant who keeps get, who gives me a bored look before going back to reading. Mayuri and Lukako are sitting next to each other on the sofa, reading a book together. This? This shit right here? This? It's fucking adorable! That is all. It looks like a cosplay photo album. <laughs> とっても可愛いレイヤーさんの同人写真集を見つけたんだ。だからね、随所同化しちゃったの。ほら見て、エルカちゃん。これブラチューのセドナコスだよ。作り込みすっごいな。すごく可愛いよね。Popular TV anime based on a manga. 26 episodes were broadcast last year. The main heroine, Sarah Orgel, is especially popular among anime otaku. Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> she sure is. <sighs> I see. She's showing it to Lukako as part of his re education. To think he, that he was so reluctant to get involved in cosplay. Looks like Mayuri's persistence has paid off. The idea of Mayuri <laughs> re-education makes it sound like she's trying to fucking brainwash people. Which, you know, in a way, I suppose she is. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, judging by his obvious interest in the photo album, maybe he was always interested in cosplay. Just too shy to cosplay himself. Nah, <laughs> Looks like Kurisu's not interested in the photo album. He just gives a cold hmph. <laughs> Instead, she's reading a difficult looking English book. Damn it. There's no time to be showing off your intelligence. You're going to make Mayuri cry if you talk to her like that. Or so I thought, but Mayuri doesn't seem to mind, so I stay out of it. <laughs> スタイルもすごくいいし、グラビアアイドルみたい。憧れるな。憧れてるの水着に僕こんなにスタイル良くないから。でもね、でもね、ルカちゃんはきっと大きなお友達からは母は言われちゃうよ。Golly gosh, I wonder who she's referring to. Hey now, Mayuri, what are you saying? It's like you're referring to Daru with that remark. Like! <laughs> and you broke Kurisu. Good job. 
Risu starts choking on her coffee. I know how she feels. I almost did a spit take with my soda. Mayuri's breasts are huge for her height, so her advice lacks a certain element of persuasion. ゆしもずっと子作りしてて夏休みはちっとも遊べてないもんねえねえオカリクリスちゃんどうかなラボメンのみんなで海ラボメンのみんな私は行かないわよもう少ししたらアメリカに帰らなきゃ荷造りもまだしてないからそんな余裕はないとしかにラボでのんびりと読書をしているほどだからなよほど余裕がないと見えるえんクリスーシナップスをブックシャットにグレーズアメンだったらはっきり言わせてもらう変態野郎二人と一
違ったみたいね。今のあんたは、本気で最低よ。え謝りなさい。今すぐ、漆原さんに謝りなさい。<笑> I'm not okay right now. <笑>いやいや、謝るも何も、俺は真実しか言ってな。いいんです。ウククを見つけた。あ、I'm okay, I swear! His head still hanging, and his voice is barely audible. 僕、岡部さんに、そういうふうに見られてたんですね。<笑>いやいやいやいや、そういうふうではなく、<笑>ルカコ、お前は男だろそれともお前まで現実逃避に走ったか現実逃避してるのはあんただろうがそうだよルカちゃんは女の子なのにオカリンひどいよというかマユリオなぜお前は急にルカ子への呼び方をルカ君からルカちゃんに変えたオカベいつまで続ける気彼女は女の子よマユリ nods in agreement. Uh huh? What's going on here? Th is this some kind of prank? God, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Why are you so fucking stupid? Oh, goodbye. Lukuko tries to slip by me out of the lab. I grab his hand to stop him from leaving. Yes, perfectly reasonable. お前は正真正銘の男だなぜならここに Jesus Christ Ah yes I pin Lukako's arms and reach for his package I hate this so much <laughs> I'm, I'm filled I'm filled with such such regret Not I <sighs> Let's see what you're hiding down No Nothing I'm, I'm sweating right now. I hate this so much. Oh, 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 Nothing. Not a. Let her, let her go. Release. It should be there. I mean, he's a guy, isn't he? An electric current runs through my brain. No way. Yes, way. So that's what happened. Lukako. Oh my. The D mail that I thought had failed. It's actually a success. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Half second later, Kurisu cracks me over the head with a, her heavy textbook. Deserved. When my vision clears, Lukako is crying. My area is rubbing her back comfor comfortingly. Kurisu, meanwhile, is glaring down at me like I'm something she scraped off the bottom of her shoe. Daru, who arrived a moment ago, is in the corner trying not to laugh. Honestly, I can't blame him. A righteous high school girl makes perverted college guy beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think I watched that one. Wait, what? Huh? Who said that? Oh. If I had to put a title to this scene, that's what it would be. 
the top of my head is throwing. You ever have words? You ever have words come out and you just you you wish you wish they hadn't. Where's where's my email? I want some email back to myself. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> Oh my god, I it's over. I mean it's not quite over yet, but I feel I feel better now. I've recovered. I'm not I can breathe again. Most likely because Kurisu wiped out a hundred million of my precious neurons and be envied by scientists the world over. I mean it's with all those fucking neurons, you'd think you'd would have used like any of them a second ago. But no. I put a moist towel to my head. I'm down. So like the what is like the one part of I'm just completely uh, yeah. Yep. 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 Man, that was dumb. I didn't think it would be gone. S I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna reach through the game and punch you, Okabe. Throw you out the window. Lukako has become a girl. Her face hasn't changed, and she's flat as a board, but she's definitely a girl. There's no denying what my hand didn't feel. I guess that ridiculous superstition was true. If you eat vegetables, you'll have a girl. Does this count as a scientific breakthrough? Anyway, I'd better apologize to Lukako. I hope she doesn't get PTSD because some pervert, me, groped her. I mean, she's a 17-year-old girl now, and she was shy to begin with. And I'll need to be as gentle as humanly possible from now on. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she never spoke to me again. I have no one but myself to blame. I'll just have to accept the consequences. Um, <laughs> それについてはマイにも言ったはずだ。D you don't you don't get to, you don't get to be funny already no stop it Krisu Krisu calmly readies her book above her head この現象を理論立てて説明するとだ。D-メールを送るたび、この世界が辿ってきた歴史が変わる。つまり過去が変わる。それを俺の脳は近くできるのだよ。そう。例えるなら。I look around, expecting to see awe on their faces. Dude, you just, like, I know you're excited, man, but you, you, you quite literally just committed sexual assault. Maybe, maybe give it some time, my dude. Maybe, maybe like, wait a day. I do as I'm told. Shredding 
シュレーディンガーうわ出たよシュレディンガーの猫日本人のシュレディンガー好きは異常あんたも日本人だろもううんざりって感じっすわ<笑>ぬこがかわいいのは認めるがな Used by cat lovers all over the internet. I, if, I ever, if I ever type the word kite, I think, I think that's. I think I will have relinquished my, my right to live at that point. I think I will have.、Uh, I think my days are numbered. <laughs> Taru's absolutely right. Whenever an anime wants to use quantum mechanics, the characters always talk about Schrodinger's cat. Or, you know, something like a, like a visual novel or something. You know, it's, it's ridiculous, right? To me, I'm going to be a good one. So, 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 I'm going to be a good one. 漫画の必殺技みたい文法としては破綻してるしシュタイナーがシュタインのことなら前半は英語で後半はドイツ語とかむちゃくちゃだちなみにこれはシュタインズゲートだっけそれにも言える<笑><笑>まだまだ全部の猛虎飯が取れぬようだなクリスティーナよ What does that You're lucky you just got here. You're,、uh, you, you, you mercifully missed some. The worst thing ever.、Uh, How's it going? <laughs> Lukako is still crying.、Oh. I just. I, I want to get as far away from that event as possible. As punishment, I spend the next 30 minutes on my knees under Kurisu's watchful eye. I slouch for a second. I get the corner of the, the corner of her book. I'd accept, her, I'd accept being told die, pervert, if it was coming from Lukako. But why the hell is Kurisu butting in? I didn't do anything to her. Does she think she's one of those class president characters? Anyway, I flee to, I flee the lab as soon as my punishment is over. The silent pressure from the girls is just too much to bear. I step into the sun and stretch. My legs are numb from the kneeling, so I can barely stand straight. At that moment, the bronze tube workshop door opens, and out comes part time warrior. Our eyes meet. Awesome. That was a underwhelming, underwhelming sup. She's less energetic than usual. <laughs> Wobbly. Why are you so bad? Suzuha answers listlessly as she sits down on the bench. When she aimlessly gazes skyward, I follow suit. Huge clouds are slowly swallowing the blue. A helicopter flies overhead. I can hear its propellers slicing the air. Huh? So? It's so damn hot. How can you exercise on a day like this? I'd rather drink hot coffee in a well air conditioned room while browsing the net. Now that's a luxurious way to spend, spend summer break. If only, the ab, if only the lab had air conditioning. Now, now my. Listen, it's not just because I'm dumb. Now I'm flustered from, from everything that happened. That's my excuse today. 
Seriously? She has to be joking. Charlie was one day should not be one. Two men should be good. Is it okay to throw the bite? This is how she pops into the store. She's back in less than a minute. I took the order. I don't want to be late. I try to think of an excuse to refuse, but nothing comes. I was a scientist. I was a cyclist. Ah, ah. I was a cyclist. I was a cyclist. I was a cyclist. All right, now now we're back in the good shit. All right, I feel I'm I'm feeling better now. I feel, I feel better now. We're back in the back in the things that don't make me want to kill myself. Some time ago, Aristoteles said, "Time is the number of exercises." That's why it's good to exercise. That doesn't make sense. I'm exhausted. We barely made it to the station. I'd die if I went another block. This was a terrible idea. I should have known better. I get off the bicycle and sit against the station wall and check my phone. Mary, um, look. Oh. Luka-chan said she'll forgive you if you cosplay if you cosplay Kakeru-kun from Rynet, or maybe uh, maybe a Upa. That's adorable. Like. I, I could see that either being like an actual typo or just Mayuri being Mayuri. Or maybe a Upa cosplay would be better, lol. Just kidding. Leave Luka chan to Mayushi. Oh. Kakiru? I haven't seen Rainet, so I don't know what Kakiru kun's supposed cosplay looks like. <clears throat> Suzuha sets the bike against the wall and crouches next to me. Sitting on the ground is undignified for a man of my stature, but no matter. I just need a few moments to catch my breath. I watch the crowds of people move past. Nearly all of them are men. Here and there, I see people carrying large boxes, most likely, most likely PC parts or appliances. There isn't an anime poster in sight. When Akiba changed, so did the people who visited it. This atmosphere... It's kind of retro. It's the Akiba I've only seen in pictures, Akiba at the end of the 20th century. The electric town in its purest form. It has risen from the ashes of the past, and, on and the only one who knows it is me. Suzuha murmurs. Huh, I didn't know that. Natsuyasumi o liyo shita kanko... ...dewa nai yo na. Dousan o sousak suru tame. That's a strange way to put it. Jouhatsu demo shita no ka? I meant it as a joke, but Suzuha looks so serious. I hope I didn't screw up again. Mou nannen mo atte nakute... ...kono machi ni iru no wa wakatte ru ndakedo sa. Suzuha works at the Braun Tube workshop from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. I doubt that leaves much time to search. あとは金があるならば更新所に頼むとかそんな予算がないなそれにいろいろ事情があるんだよ。イッシュズたださ一回だけチャンスはあるんだそのチャンスが明日なの明日ある場所に現れるかもしれなくて。a certain place that has a rather ominous ring to it. Could her father be some kind of fugitive? I stay silent, unable to think of a response. 
私もこの町を離れなきゃいけない離れるとは地元に帰るのか行かなきゃいけないところがあるからさ私も多忙なわけよ What? <笑>もともと明日会えなかったら諦めるつもりだったし不安なのだなわかるぞその気持ち誰も知らないこの町でたった一人で父親を探すさぞや心細いことだろう不安な気持ちを紛らわすため誰かに相談したいわけだなそして身近にいる人間で最も頼りになりそうなこの法王院教魔にすがったわけか。That actually almost made me spit out my drink.That's. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. だが残念だったな。俺のような狂気のマッドサイエンティストに頼ったのがお前の運の尽きだ。バイト戦士よ。はあ。<笑>そんなお前は俺が実験台として使ってやろうではないか実験台って決まっている時間を遡ることができる人類科学の夢 D メールだ Heard explain D メールと Suzuha before お前にはその実験台となってもらおう。<laughs> The way he talks sometimes is so fucking funny, dude. Oh, j e e z Um. Nope, we're good. Man, I love this computer. It's, it's kicking ass, dude. Do you see it? Suzanne takes a step back. She finally realizes the danger she's in. <laughs> no, it's a simple thing. I'm now looking at the data of the D-Mail data a little bit more. I'm going to change the past to you. 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 I'm g o i 勝手にするがいいだがお前はもはや俺の毒がにかかった子羊逃がしはしない<笑>そうだいいことを思いついたお前が過去へ送るメールの内容についてだ<笑>いいかよく聞けお前は蒸発する前の父親へとこうメールを送るのだ娘を置いていくなとな<笑> I hope the m u a h a h a is part of the message 君ってさいいやつだねな<笑>に<笑>なんかちょっとだけ楽になったかもお前、俺を侮辱するつもりか俺はいいやつなどではない実験のことしか考えていない狂気のマッドサイエンティストである分かったならば、お前の父親の携帯アドレスを教えろ教えなければ、俺の右腕が火を吹くぞちなみに、封印が解かれた右腕を俺は制御できないお前の命も保証できん。と言っておこうごめん無理なんだあくまで逆らうのか父さんの携帯の番号もメルアドも知らないから Dude, the, like the light the super light blush is our fan so freaking cute あそう just a, little, just a little bit it's just a little bit well that's a let down まあだからこそ明日にかけてるわけでさ心配してくれてサンキュー心配などしていない実験台にできなくてがっかりしているだけだでもすごいね
メールを過去に送れるなんて人類初のタイムマシンじゃんふん<笑>すごいのは当然だろうなぜなら俺は放浪院今日までからなアップグレードの予定はアップグレードそのタイムマシンのアップグレード例えば人そのものを遅れちゃうようになるとか検討中だ、no、good ideas yet, though. だったらさ作る前に一つ忠告マキセクリスは仲間から外した方がいいそういえばお前あいつのことをやけに嫌っていたなさてとそろそろ工房に戻らなくちゃ30分休憩をもらっただけだからさそろそろ帰んないと怒られちゃうよ明日は明日は明は父親と会えても会えなくてもラボに来いなんで One moment. Check the interwebs for more details.、Uh... Oh Christ. Okay, alright. r e n e k a g u r u access number five. Encounter with Bishop, online bank hacker. These days, online banking is widespread. Sometimes even billions of units of currency are transferred wirelessly. The current enemy, Bishop, is a tough opponent, cracking through mobile connection while driving to Damascus, while driving Damascus location. But Kakiru reads his opponent's moves one by one and gradually corners him. In order to close the distance, Kakiru and, his, and friends don rollerblades, moving between hotspots and public phone lines in town. With Kakiru's swift techniques and precise strikes, along with Tamaru's group teamwork, they successfully corner Bishop. Out of, out of options, their target uses his last resort, one of the nine existing phantom monster programs, Terios. Its capacity for wanton destruction instantly turns the tables on Kakiru. Bishop prepares to use Terios to deliver the finishing blow. The vile virus approaches. Checkmate for Kakiru. But then, as if to protect them, something flies out of Kakiru's PC. It's the virtual pet, Upa, that Kakiru cared for. Upa intercepts the hit meant for Kakiru. Will Upa be okay? Oh man, I need to, I need to see the next step. Oh shit, there's more! I didn't even <laughs> I think there was more! Upa has taken a direct attack from the monster level virus. Oh wait. To the trial, Upa 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 Upa's secret. But he is unscathed, and of all things, he devours the attack itself. Kakiru has successfully countered Bishop with Upa's great efforts. On top of that, he has obtained Bishop's monster program, Terios. This is incredible. I fucking, I fucking love this shit. But he doesn't understand. Why could Upa devour such a strong monster level virus program? Not even、N、Nagaya san's. Knows, but the mystery site master Cyber Dragon might. Cyber Dragon, who has information about every program in existence, is like a sage with knowledge of the entire net world. Kakiru and friends begin searching for Cyber Dragon's site immediately. In order to obtain the URL for Cyber Dragon's site, it appears they'll need to clear the online game Cyber Dragon's Trial. This is a typing battle with increased, increasing viral attacks, wearing Kakiru down. But he keeps going, cheered on by his friends. After gr a grueling struggle, Kakiru successfully gets the URL for Cyber Dragon's site. They finally manage to meet Cyber Dragon. I'm literally, every time I see the word Cyber Dragon, I just think Yu Gi Oh! I literally just think Yu Gi Oh! As his name suggests, he takes, he takes the form of an Elder Dragon. He inspects Upa's program. What he discovers is that Upa is. Typo. What he discovers is that Upa is also a monster program. Kirari worries that Upa is dangerous. Cyber Dragon, however, explains that based on the user's will, a deadly weapon can also become a tool to protect. Unfortunately, that also means it will be necessary to awaken Upa's inner monster program, and if Kakaru fails to fully master it, he may lose control of the awakened form. Without knowing how to awaken Upa, Kakaru and his friends leave Cyber Dragon's sight. In order to overcome the vile programs, Kakaru ple ple pledges to discover Upa Monster Program boot process.、Uh, before long, rumors spread about the world of Kakaru and friends, the amazing grade schoolers who possess a monster program. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> Jesus Christ! How many of these? Oh my god. Well, we're doing this now. This, this is what the game is now. 
Uh, first in aircraft history, ground hijack. Japan prepares to send a team to the Typing Masters World Championships in Los Angeles. Among Japan's representatives is Kakiru, who has become an instant celebrity for solving numerous cyber crimes. Also, my clock is going off again, but I'm going to talk over it and hope it's not big, being baked up by the mic. Tamaru accompanies as second, and Kirari's wealth lets her pay her own way. While they're chatting on the plane, an emergency suddenly occurs. The cabin crew frantically approaches them. It appears that someone has hijacked the jumbo jet. Moreover, the culprit is not on board. Somehow, he hijacked the computer systems from the ground. The crew cannot switch to manual control. This sounds a lot like uh, anonymous code, the uh, the high hack. Crew cannot switch to manual control, letting the hacker decrease the plane's altitude along with its 276 passengers. Without needing a single explosive, the culprit instead was bringing the plane down by halting its engines electronically. The century's first ground hijack. The hacker wants the monster program UPA. Kakiru infiltrates the jet with his sub notebook and tries to trace the hacker but can't. The only line that connects to the jet is heavily protected is the heavily protected control towers. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> One second. My mouth is so dry right now. Only special radio waves should have been able to reach the plane's height from that tower. However, considering other possibilities, Kakiru comes up with an, another ID, I, idea via satellite. Bingo! Kakiru was right. The ground base is connected to the satellite through an external line. The culprit broke the satellite's firewall to connect to the plane's computer systems. Both the satellite and a plane were hijacked in this major incident. Kakiru figures this out and corners the culprit. The first war fought at the core of an orbiting satellite begins. A quick victory. The opponent is clever, but not enough to match Kakiru's methods. Kakiru and friends watch the first space battle unfold on screen. The jumbo jet is almost as beautifully, almost as beautiful as a, sh as a shuttle floating in space. Stars are reflected in Kakiru's eyes. Next, the World Typing Masters Championship begins. All right, it's over. Back to Stein's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> She laughs happily. Then she starts pedaling. Leaving me behind. <laughs> Suzuha doesn't wait, leaving me with no choice but to run back to the lab. Norse mythology, the cauldron used to cook for the gods. Fair enough. You sure do like that Norse mythology. Part-time warrior. Eureka! Going to infiltrate now. What should I do? I'm so nervous. I can't see my own heart. What? I can't see my own heart, like peeking through frosted glass. Wish me luck over and out. I, this, this, this right here confuses the shit out of me. I, I have no idea what that's even trying to say. I, I, I got nothing. It, I'm tr I'm truly at a loss. The only lab mems here today are Mayuri, Kurisu, and Lukako. I couldn't get a hold of Ferris or Moeka. They must be busy. Daru, meanwhile, gave me some crap about having things to do. I was prepared for Lukako to refuse my invitation, but since she's here, I guess she's forgiven me. For now, at least. <laughs> I've already explained to the lab mems what Suzuha told me yesterday. あんたは何するの? 
<笑>いちいち突っかかるなクリスティーナお前は人間の真理というものを理解していない人というのはそうやって一周されると意地でも自らの意思を通したくなってしまうのだ独善的すぎそもそもクリスティーナよお前とバイト戦士は対立していたはずだにもかかわらずそのような気遣いをするとは大した偽善ぶりだなあんたの行動が人としてダメすぎるんだろそうだよ邪魔するのはねよくないと思うな。Even during the strategy meeting, Mayuri keeps working on her costume. Lukuko hasn't agreed to wear it yet, but Mayuri's enthusiasm remains strong. それよりも、どんな結果になっても、あったかーく迎えてあげようよ。そのためにもね、マユシーは買い出しを張り切っちゃうつもりです。でもあの、僕、そのスズハさんという人と、会ったことはないんですけどすずさんはねとってもいい人だからルカちゃんもすぐに仲良くなれるよいい人ねとにかく俺はこれから美好を<笑> She's nice to everyone except you だからダメだっつってんでしょ<笑>女子の分際で俺に指図をするな In the end, I can't get permission to tell Suzuha. 逃げたら承知しないからな。Kurisu is forcing me to help her with the shopping. There is no way out. Damn it. Kurisu really is turning into a class president character. At this rate, she might take over the lab. Wait, could this be what Suzuha was warning me about? Nah. <laughs> anyway, time to get my head in the game. We must prepare for the Last Supper, Operation Eldrimnir. The Last Supper refers to our party for Suzuha. In the event she reunites with her father, we'll just celebrate normally. In other words, it will be her Last Supper in Tokyo. However, If she doesn't reunite with her father, we'll kidnap her and force her to participate in our experiments. Sacrifices must be made if we're going to perfect D mail technology. In that case, it will be the Last Supper on this world line. The, the lab's budget, most of which comes from my pocket, is tight, but it's okay to party every once in a while. There's no such thing as a low risk, high return. High risk, high return. That is how a mad scientist operates. <laughs> I can already taste Suzuha's despair. But... I follow Kurisu's finger to see Daru emerge from Yodobashi camera. One moment. Uh, Re Re episode 8. So, eh? Hey, what? Sorry, I couldn't come. Sorry, I couldn't come today, Nya. Ferris was participating. Was practicing. Practicing for the Rynet AB Grand Championships, Nya. I want to crush my enemies just like in episode 8, Nya. My lord. Uh, episode 8? What are you talking about? I guess I'm assuming that's short for episode, right? I, I, like the, the show that we've been reading about. Wasn't episode 8 the. the Wasn't this one the eight? Hold on. Which one was eight? No, we only got to seven. So we don't we don't know what happened in episode eight. Whatever could it be. I'm sure she'll tell us. <gasps> oh! I grab his collar to stop him from escaping. Oh my! What in the show shooting you all tonight? Do you, it's what だから用事があるって言ってんじゃん用事とはオフ会話にならんないやちょっと聞いてくれよ
オフ会とラボメンガールズの手作り料理が食べられるパーティーお前はどちらを選ぶ手作りだとひ一つ確認したいそこにフェイリスタンはいますか Before Kurisu can answer that, I whisper to Dart. Muronda. Fairis mo labomen da kara na. God damn it, Okabe, you're such an asshole. <laughs> so, do you still batting us in the yo? Semete, astanish the kureba. Do you still? Kets dan no toki da. Oh my, just sing the sentak shiro. Such a bastard, okay. Hey, this time, no, tell you, you got to be tied this. Of Kayo Akira Medeva. So called the CI Shudio Dio Akira Medu. Boga of Kayo Akira Medazo. Naru surrenders all too quickly. When we return to the lab, Mayuri and Lukako are already starting preparations. フェリスタンはフェリスタンはいずこに星だあんた騙されてるわよフェリスちゃんは来られないって言ってたけど What an asshole. <笑>ちょマジでおいオカリンこれはどういうことだよドッキリってレベルじゃねえぞ次の機会があったら話をつけておいてやるふざけんなよせっかくのタイムマシンオフ会だったのにタイムマシンオフ会何それ僕がよく見に行く SF 関係の BBS があるんだよそこのオフ会なんだプロの作家なんかも来る予定だったのに僕はオカリンを許さない絶対にだ<笑>なぜ先にそれを言わないのだそんなオフ会があるならば俺も言っていたのに Suddenly, I smell something strange. <笑>何か一周がしないか一周タコ足配線のしすぎでどこかの電源がショートしていないかすすみませんルカコ is apologizing for something. たぶん、マユリちゃんの作ってるお料理の匂いだと思います。What? The smell of food? 私も手伝うわ。じゃあ、卵を温めてもらって。Well, better start writing those eulogies. うん。電話レンジ使うダメです生卵をレンジに入れたら爆発しちゃいますドアを剥ぎ取ったんだから大丈夫なんじゃない<笑>ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ハゲドウ。オカリン。この現実を改変したい気分だ。ハゲドウ。オカリン。この恨み、松大まで忘れん。あ、本気ですまないと思っている。だがダル俺と共に死んでくれ
保険としてピザ頼んどくわ It only gets worse. The smoke grows thicker by the second, filling my lungs with ash and tar. There should not be ash and tar in the kitchen. In less than an hour, the girls have transformed the lab into a class 5 disaster zone. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. What is that? How are you? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. もし一時間以内に連絡がなかったら両親に愛していると伝えてくれオカリンそれ死亡フラグこれがシュタインズゲートの選択なのかヘルプさえ関係ない After the storm has passed Uh, uh, Ferris. Right Nick Cocker, of course. Nya. All right, here we go. Episode 8. Let's go. Echo Inazuma. Typing Master's Secrets. Despite the incident, they safely land in Los Angeles. As they exit the crowded terminal, they notice an American youth helping an old lady with her suitcase. Tomorrow. Hey, so Americans are kind people too. Consider people live in every country. After a 30 minute bus ride from the airport, they arrive at the LA Convention Center. An aura of feverish comp competition spreads through the Typing Master grounds. Most surprisingly, the list of participants includes even world famous hackers and crackers. Since they leave no evidence, they evade wanted lists, and among them is the name of their fated opponent, Jay. They have not, met in, not yet met in person. I bet he looks like a scoundrel. The battles are live streamed. Worldwide on the internet, where they're as popular as the Olympics. The tournament starts the main race. An energetic DJ announces the top eight. Seventh is called Kake, seventh called is Kakeru, and is and last is Jay's name. That last face is the face of the boy who helped the lady in the airport. The three are shocked. Who is he? By now, Kakeru is the least is the last Japanese competitor remaining. Another one, Red's subordinate, lost in the first round. All they can do is root for Kakeru. Kakeru's first top eight opponent is the rhythmic dancing typist Lost Shade, who proves no match for Kakeru's speed. Kakeru advances. His next opponent is Indra Panther, son of, the Arabi son of an Arabian oil baron. His limber yoga movements make him appear jointless. It's hard to match since it's hard to match since his movement patterns leave no openings. But Kakeru uses a freezing virus attack, sealing his opponent's moves. Finally, one light touch shatters him like ice. Now it's the finals. As expected, his opponent is the mysterious J. How will this match turn out? God, Jesus Christ, how many? <laughs> is it just three every time? I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind. Decisive battle. And begin. Bunshin no Jutsu would be an appropriate name for J's technique. His movements are so fast, it's like there are four of him typing at the same time. His self-taught typing method is nicknamed Cross Ripper. Jay's fam fairly famous in America's underworld, and many in imitate this style. It gets his name from his cr arms overlapping each other in the shape of a cross. Of course, Kakeru also has a unique skill, nicknamed Thunder Gladiator. His, the friction between his fingers and keys, caused by his typing speed, generates a small electric current like lightning from his fingertips that gradually builds up. They are evenly matched. The first set goes to Kakeru, and the second to Jay. The outcome hinges on the last round. Final match. Sparks fly in this grand head-to-head -head fight. The struggle is projected onto, a, into, onto large display panels. The audience holds their breath. However, the match is suddenly interrupted by a power outage. This isn't nor normally a problem. Typically, the, US, the UPS uninterruptible power supply would activate, and the machines would continue functioning. As the, the battle between the two ends with a temporary truce, as the organizer becomes impatient, the audience begins to stir restlessly. Suddenly, a strange logo appears on every monitor, and words slowly materialize one letter at a time. I am a monster. You are a friend? You are friend? Ha 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 ha. Along with the ominous message, tiny electronic sounds can be heard. Kakeru, move! Jay suddenly pushes Kakeru away and forcibly unplugs Kakeru's keyboard from the tourney PC. As he does, as soon as he does, sparks fly from the USB port. His all-important player's keyboard narrowly avoids shorting. It seems like Jay saved Kakeru. 
Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I just can't have a match without an opponent. With those words, Jay turns and leaves. Though the finals end with Jay and Kakiru tied for first place, Jay disappears without accepting the trophy. Naturally, Kakiru also declines it. The true winner will be decided by their rematch next year. Mystery Boy Jay, Kakiru, and friends are, un are unaware that soon, Jay will join them as a member of the Rynet team. Whose girl? <laughs> Whose girl is that girl? Tamaru's love story. That's that's really funny. <laughs> Whose girl is that girl? That's that's not how I remember that 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 saying goes. Kakaru and his friends hunt down crackers again today. Tamaru meets Ayumi, the number one girl on the net. He can't help but notice the tragic aura that she gives off. Tamaru decides to track down Ayumi's site and is shocked. It's been ravaged by trolls. Even her password was cracked, preventing her from closing it down. After investigating, he finds it was a simple prank of an unspecified number of script kitties using a, crack using a cracking tool available over all over the net. Enraged, Tamaru challenges them to a match. He disregards Kakaru's warnings, recklessly plunging in headfirst. He puts himself in danger as a result, but endures, eventually beating the kitties and restoring Ayumi's sight. Tamaru goes to tell her that it's safe now. However, Ayumi has become too traumatized towards the net to restart her sight and doesn't return to return his feelings. Tamaru finds himself at a loss for words. But people who around the world who don't who know what happened send encouraging messages to Ayumi. The internet is not only full of malice, there is unconditional kindness too. Ayumi decides to reopen her sight, and they discover that she also attends Kaigyo. When the two of them meet, the one who appears in front of the nervously waiting boy, waiting Tamaru is a boy. Ayumi was a guy in real life. And thus, Tamaru's first love goes down in flames. Oh my fucking lord. <sighs> alright, here we go. <laughs> I fucking love this. It's just like, alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and read the synopsis of a fucking fictional anime real quick. After the storm had passed... <sighs> Sun is already set. The food lined up on the table, none of it looking particularly appetizing, has already grown cold. I open my phone to check the time. It's getting late. The high school girls will need to head back soon. Was Suzuha able to meet her father? If so, they might have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Sorry. Goodbye. There's only one word in Suzuha's email. Does that mean she didn't meet her father? And now she plans to leave town alone. <laughs> I fly out of the lab. I don't know where Suzuha is. All I can do now for now is go to the station. If she's going to leave town, she should be using public transportation. If she's using the Hibiya line on the other side of the station, then I've struck out. But if she's going to take the bullet train from Tokyo or Ueno, then she'll have to pass through here. I carefully scan the thinning crowd around Akiba Station. Where is she? After about 30 minutes of watching the crowd, I spot something. <laughs> My gaze focuses on a person walking in from the main street. It's Suzuha, shuffling along with her head bowed. As she gets closer, I can see that she's wiping her eyes. Is she crying? I don't see anyone walking with her. I guess she couldn't find her father after all. <laughs> Suzuha looks up in surprise. I can s I see the tracks of tears on her face. Oh, my God. The, the like, the the red puffiness under her eyes. Oh, it's ah, my heart. Stop. Just as her eyes are about to meet, Suzuha looks away, and then she turns and runs out of the station. Mate. I give chase, ignoring the stares of passersby. She's gone. 
damn it. Where did she... Hold on a second. Why am I chasing her? Do I have some kind of urge to chase things that run away? That's stupid. I'm not a dog. Shouldn't I just leave her be? It's not like we're that close, right? Okabe, you know exactly why you're chasing her. You know exactly... You know exactly what, what's going on here. Suzuha is all alone in this town. What if I was the only one she could talk to about her father? I know she's hurting. She needs my help. Shouldn't I do everything in my power? <laughs> he really... <laughs> Just now, I think I saw someone who looked like Suzuha. But the run from the station has left me exhausted. I drop to my knees, gasping for breath. My sides ache. I can't take another step. Even after searching the entire area around the station, I couldn't find Suzuha. I guess this, too, is the choice of Steins Gate. As I rest, I look up at the night sky. The satellite remains buried in Radicon's wall. I wipe the sweat off my brow and head back to the lab. Everyone's still there when I return. どうなったのよ。そうだ。一人で納得してんだよ。鈴葉には逃げられた。どうやら父親には会えなかったようだ。そっか。Gloomy silence falls. I can see the sadness on everyone's faces. <laughs> I begin to laugh. <laughs> I can't... I can't help but do this whenever he laughs. It's just... it. It's like Pavlovian at this point. It just... Okabe-san? <laughs> <笑>いや。お前たちがしょんぼりしているのが傑作でな。どいつもこいつも何をしょぼくれている。こんな時のために俺たちにはあれがあるではないか。<笑> Rust my finger at the curtain to the development room. D-メールを使うの? でもさ、この時間じゃ電話レンジの放電現象は起きなくね。起きないのならば、明日送ればいい話だ。Emails leak through time. It matters not when we send send it, but when it is received. 誰に何て送るの? 今日の昼間の俺自身へ。内容は… I smile triumphantly. I do that, there's no way I can fail. And then we can have Suzuha as a test subject. Yeah, that's why. I suddenly hear the sound of rain. I look outside the window and see that rain has started to fall. As Daru predicted, the discharge phenomenon does not occur, and it looks like we'll have to wait until tomorrow. The rain grows, grows stronger over time, eventually becoming a thunderstorm. The next day, there isn't a cloud in the sky. It's hard to believe it rained, at all, rained all last night. I keep checking the brawn tube workshop through the window, but the morning passes without any sign of Suzuha. Oh, I have two mails. Sorry, check the news, Okarine. The satellite up and disappeared. Oh no, lo 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 lo. What? Daru, please. Oh my god, every time with this. Like, just like, like a little too high. 
They say the satellite disappeared. I wonder what happened. Did it fly away? It's like a magic trick. Well, good night. Oh, I'm okay. She's probably long gone from Akiba by now. <laughs> she doesn't know who she's dealing with. She's but a pawn in my game, destined to fight for me at Ragnarok. At the stroke of noon, I activate the phone wave, named subject to change. The destination is my phone, yesterday around 4 p.m. The discharge phenomenon occurs as normal. Don't listen to Chris. Chris, pursue Suzuha. The floor shakes violently. Squinting against the glare, I send the mail. My brain shakes violently. My vision flickers. As the vertigo passes, I can hear my heartbeat and feel the warm blood coursing through my body. I blink slowly. That was the sensation of reading Steiner activating. And so I know. Suzuha's ours. I hurry down the stairs. I step outside and look to the front of the building. What belongs there has returned. A mountain bike polished to a shining finish. And on the bench next to it, looking up into the summer sky, is... Amane Suzuha. Oh, I try to remain calm as I call out to her. She greets me in her usual listless fashion. サボリチューカ。だって客来ないし。それに昨日は夜中まで上で騒いでたからさ。すっごく眠たいんだよね。夜中まで騒いでいた。誰が? <clears throat> we have shifted from a world line where we failed to stop Suzuha from leaving to one where we succeeded. As a result, the events of yesterday changed. そうだな。さあさ。昨日も君、そんなこと言ってた。昨日は私のために。サンキュー。いまいちよく覚えてないんだが、俺は一体どうやってお前を確保した。まさか本当に昨日お酒飲んでた？いいから聞かせてくれ
that be related to her father's disappearance? Baita Sensio. Yaksokodori. Omaini wa jikken dai ni na te morazo. Demo sa, kono mai mo itta kedo, atashi tou san no mail address shiranai da te ba. Nara ba jikken wa, izre wakatta toki made enki da. Chinami ni, jikken ni mochi iru denwa renji kakko kari wa, waga labo no saikou kimitsu jikou no tame, gai ba ni jouhou wo morasare nai yo. お前にはラボメンになってもらう。ラボメン。ラボラトリーメンバーの略だ。このラボメンナンバーを与えられた人間は、すなわちラボの仲間となる。いいの？いやでもなってもらうぞ。お前は今日からラボメンナンバーゼ